Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey there, Locker Dome, Matthew Sabia here. And for those of you who have ever wanted to create a video DVD that's playable on a DVD player, uh, it's not as simple as dragging a video file onto the DVD. You actually do need some special software. So today I'm going to be showing you a great free app that I found called DVD Flick. Now DVD Flick is a very simple yet professional tool. It allows you to create playable DVDs. So it's formats them so they're playable. On the DVD player, you can go ahead and create menus, chapters, anything else you can want. And once again, it is free. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run through the basic procedure of creating a playable DVD with DVD Flick. Go ahead and click on New Project, even though there's not open right now. And the first thing we want to do is come over to the right hand side and click on Add Title. Uh, this is where you go ahead and select the videos that you want to put on your DVD. Okay, so the file I selected is a short film that I created last summer. Um, and let's say I want to burn onto a DVD so it's playable. So I've added the video file into here. Um, I believe you can add pretty much any video file. This is a MOV file. Next, I'm going to click on Edit Title. This is where you can edit all the information for your DVD. Right up here, let's uh, add the appropriate name. The film is called Heart of the Fathers. And if you guys want to go check that out, you go search for it on YouTube. Select uh, normal, which honestly, do any, does anyone use that anymore? Or uh, your normal widescreen. Another nice feature is DVD Flick allows you to select the time for the thumbnail of your video. So for example, let's say I want to use this scene as the thumbnail. I can go ahead into chapters. Uh, let's say I want to create a chapter every one minute. It's only a, th a three minute film. So uh, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll just leave it off like that. Video sources, we already selected our video audio tracks, and uh, subtitle tracks if you have one. So I'm going to click on Accept, and the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Project Settings. There's a lot of steps, but in the end it is very simple. You can select the target size. Uh, I'm just going to try and burn this on a standard DVD, which is 4.3 gigs. Uh, you could also make it playable on uh, a lot of these other formats. I'm just going to select the standard. I'm just going to uh, enter the name of the project again. Oops, there we go. Encoder, you can go ahead and select this. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and get into that, but uh, let's just say leave it on normal. It, it's basically the quality of your project. Uh, thread count, go ahead and leave that at 8, or if you want to change it. Target format, uh, for the format of DVDs that you're used to, you want to go ahead and, and set it to NTSC. Uh, PAL is another type of video format which is used, in, um, for example, in Europe and it's just a totally different format, so I'll leave it on NTSC. Audio, you could change uh, the volume, even set a custom bit rate, that's very nice. I recommend leaving it on auto, or if you want to change it, a uh, normal bit rate would be uh, 256, 348, somewhere around there. We'll leave it on auto. Playback, after the title is finished. If you have uh, multiple titles, as they call them, which are videos, so if you want to burn multiple videos onto your DVD, you can select uh, the order in which they play and uh, burning. You can even create an ISO image. So if you want to save an image that you could burn multiple times onto a disc, that's very nice. Or right now, we're just going to burn this to our DVD. So I'll enter the title once again. Select the drive which our DVD is in. I select uh, selecting 8 as your speed. Uh, automatically erase the disc if it is rewritable. It's very nice. I can verify the disc after burning, and uh, let's tell it to eject the tray when it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Accept. Next, I'm going to show you the menu settings. They have some basic menus or titles that are already in here when you put your uh, DVD in. Uh, let's go ahead and leave it on Simple Black. There's also Simple White, or uh, actually let's use this one. You can click on Preview, and you can see exactly what these do. You want to preview uh, the menu on your computer, that's very nice. So we have accept, and when you're all ready to go ahead and burn your project, you want to go ahead. Now once you've done all that, once you've set it all up and you're ready to burn, just go ahead and click on create DVD. So uh, like it says here, the project will be burned to the disk after it's finished, blah blah blah. We'll click on OK. And as you can see, it's now burning to this disc. So it shows you the different steps in the process of burning the DVD. It shows you what it's doing. Uh, you can change the priority. 
and when it's done you can even tell your system to shut down reboot or enter standby for example if it's a long video if it's something like two hours this could actually take quite a long time I just realized I have seed cleaner open in the background here and while you're doing this you could also select entertain me and it opens a little game of uh, Tetris here so, so that's a nice little thing they threw in there so uh, there's another reason DVD flick is uh, it's a very nice experience it's very professional and uh, pretty high quality so there you go guys once this is done you'll have a DVD uh, whether it's pictures or home videos or anything that you want to share with other people and this will be playable on your DVD drive or DVD player. So there you go guys. I hope you'll find this useful. This has been Matthew Sabia for LockerGnome.com. I'll see you next time.